Do you love food? Finding interesting, quirky, fun, and inspiring restaurants can be a lot of work. Luckily, I'm doing the legwork for you. I find these restaurants, sit down, eat the food, and record it all for you to see. I'm Michael David, and this is Reviewed. Today I'm trying out asparagus in Maryville, Indiana. Lots of appetizers, soups, salads, chef recommendations, stir fry, curries, on the grill, fried rice, noodles. It's gonna take me a minute to figure out what we're gonna have. Thai tea, which is tea and cream mixed together. Yeah. It's good stuff. I brew it fresh. I have quite an extensive wine and drink menu here. We're gonna start with the crab and cream cheese crispy rolls, which is a crab meat and cream cheese with carrot, cabbage, and noodles. It better be good, because he recommended it. All right, the appetizer has arrived. Looks delicious. I'm gonna have to eat it after I take pictures. I'm trying a sample of their, I don't know, signature sauce here. They sell bottles of it. It's called the Sassy Sweet and Sour Sauce. Server, waiter, what do you guys prefer to be called? Uh, probably his name, Joe. Five dollars a bottle. Can't beat that. A little it, soup. I think I said it was a vegetable soup with chicken. What makes it a chicken soup? The soup, after you get about halfway through, is pretty good. All right, the food has arrived. Cutting. It's got potential. The sauce. I do appreciate a good fork. I hate cheap flatware. Mm. That was good. Very good. Flavorful pork chop there. The rice. There, so yeah. Oh yeah. Is it more spicy than? Nope. Hold on. <laughs> Hold the phone. His <laughs> face gets all red. <laughs> it is getting like a little spicier. <laughs> there is some spice involved. <laughs> Took the initial hit a minute to get there. So we're having the red curry, which is a hot fried curry, thickened with coconut milk, bell peppers, bamboo shoots, hot peppers, along with fresh basil leaves. And then we're also having the Wisan marinated pork chop. And that's a marinated and grilled pork chop served with Hawaiian fried rice. I'm trying the Hawaiian fried rice now. It's okay. Ooh. Yeah. I will say, I do not appreciate it when restaurants put cilantro on something I don't say they're going to. Now that I've extricated myself from a swamp of cilantro, the pork chop and the rice do go well together. So the red curry is a winner. There'll be some pork chop and the Hawaiian rice is a winner. Just remember, cilantro comes on the pork chop. Well, not in a good way. 